In an American prison, astronaut Theo wakes up after spending the night in a cell for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. His supervisor Walter soon bails him out, pointing out that Theo would have been discharged if only it wasn't too late to find a replacement. Then Theo is taken to a press conference with his fellow astronauts Cole, Bug, and Emily, who is also Theo's ex. Walter explains to the journalists that they're doing an experiment to test the psychological effects of deep space travel and determine how astronauts will react to unforeseen challenges. The astronauts will spend 400 days in an underground bunker that simulates a spaceship, which will put them in isolation and may affect their perception of reality. Cole has also been assigned to create weekly videos to keep the public updated. While the group poses for pictures, Walter whispers to Emily to remind her of their deal. Afterward Walter sends the astronauts on their mission as he reminds them that he'll destroy their careers if any of them quits early. A hatch on the ground is opened and the astronauts immediately suit up because they'll even simulate the launch. They do the countdown and the room simulates the noises and shaking as if they were truly leaving, but soon the computer warns them that the payload is still attached to the ship. If they fail to drop it the ship will disintegrate, so Theo asks for permission to adjust the ship's trajectory. His idea works and the payload quickly falls, thus Walter congratulates them for passing the first test and informs them that gifts are waiting for them. Now the team can look around the bunker and find their rooms with the gifts on their beds. Bug gets a notebook, Cole gets naughty magazines, Emily gets origami paper, and Theo gets three decks of cards. Afterward Theo goes to the infirmary so Emily can do a routine mental health checkup, causing Theo to admit he's depressed because she broke up with him after he proposed. Emily just says it's complicated and ends the interview. Later over dinner, Emily announces everyone must receive vaccines. Cole tries to protest, but Emily reminds him they were told about this during training and explains they're more susceptible to viruses because they're in close quarters. Once everyone gets their shots, Cole records some clips for the public, making fun of the fact they drink recycled pee. After dinner, Emily sends the evaluations and turns down Cole when he offers his company. Days start to pass without much trouble. The team keeps themselves busy the best they can, Cole exercises, Bug draws on the wall, and Emily does origami. Cole records anything interesting and always makes sure to upload it to the internet. On day 26, Emily gives them a little game to make sure their minds are still quick and active and Cole is frustrated because he isn't as fast as the others. Suddenly they hear an explosion outside and immediately the whole bunker starts shaking. Emily thinks it may be a simulation of an asteroid belt, but Bug explains they shouldn't be near any asteroid belt of significance. As an alarm starts ringing, they try to contact mission control, but nobody answers. At that moment, the computer warns them that the ship is recalibrating its solar energy retention so Cole rushes to check batteries, but they're fine. The team concluded that the solar panels must be damaged and this is another test, so they'll have to conserve power. Sometime later, Theo overhears Emily trying to get in contact with Walter in secret. When he catches her red-handed, Emily just says contacting mission control is part of the protocol and goes to bed. This leaves Theo remembering the day Emily asked if their relationship was a mistake, but back then Theo hadn't agreed. In her room, Emily looks at their old pictures together but can't bring herself to delete them. Days continue to pass in a boring but stable routine, and Cole is starting to grow irritated. On day 200, Emily injects the team with vaccines again. Later when Cole uploads a video, he sees a message saying she's poisoning you, but when he blinks it goes back to normal. 18 days later, Bug catches a mouse in his lab and happily shows it to the crew, saying he'll keep it as a pet. Cole wants to get rid of it because it's unsanitary, and when Bug refuses, Cole takes the mouse and steps on it. An argument ensues between them and when Theo tries to calm them down, he ends up in a fistfight with Cole. They exchange a few blows before they end up on the floor where Emily finally manages to stop them. Afterward Cole checks his face for bruises in the mirror and sees his nose is bleeding. Soon his whole face is blood dripping out and Cole can't help getting anxious as he spreads the blood on his hands in the mirror. However after looking away for a second, he realizes he had been hallucinating and it's just a little drop coming out of his nose. Worried about his health, Cole asks Emily to check on him. Emily informs him that he's dehydrated and needs to take better care of himself, she also turns down his advances when he tries flirting again. Then Cole goes back to the computer and sees a message saying they hate you before a childhood picture appears on the screen. Frustration grows as he remembers he has no family and he proceeds to smash the keyboard on the table. Weeks pass and Bug withdraws from the crew because he feels guilty over having left his son. When there are only 35 days left, Emily finds a jar of pee outside his room because he refuses to even go to the bathroom. Instead he spends his time drawing a maze on the walls of his room. One afternoon, he suddenly sees his son Sam crawling under his bed and into the vent. Bug immediately follows him and is surprised to come out into a creepy kid's room with Sam on a swing. The child asks how long his father will be gone, and when Bug says it'll be for a long time, Sam disappears and Bug appears back in his room. On day 373, the crew suddenly hears a banging noise outside and decides to ignore it according to protocol. Later in the evening, Cole wakes up when he hears a new noise and comes out to investigate, only to find a weird man in the kitchen. He tries to hide, but the guy appears next to him with a creepy stare. Cole moves away and bumps into Theo, 
So he sends him to the kitchen while he goes to alert the others. Theo looks around and finds the man trying to escape through the vent, but he collapses, so they take him to the infirmary. After Emily sedates the guy, Cole explains that the intruder made his way through an access panel but he can't understand why someone would want to join them. Bug points up the man is in a terrible condition and wonders if something serious is going on outside, then he suddenly collapses. Emily isn't feeling too well either and takes some medicine before going to bed. That night, the computer indicates that the oxygen has reached a critical level, and Theo wakes up when he starts running out of breath. He rushes out to warn the others but Emily won't answer, so Theo has to break down the door and discovers Emily isn't breathing. He immediately performs CPR until Emily regains consciousness. Meanwhile Bug discovers his teddy bear is gone and thinks the intruder stole it. Theo and Cole run to the infirmary to check on the man only to discover he's gone. Moments later, Cole reveals that the intruder's breach has caused the air from outside to mix with theirs. He points out that their oxygen levels have been dropping for months, and Emily warns them that the lack of oxygen could make them experience hallucinations, headaches, and memory loss. Cole thinks they should just seal the breach because it must be part of the simulation, but Theo has had enough and wants to leave. Cole doesn't want to lose and an argument ensues, so Bug knocks Cole out. Afterward Theo tries to leave, but the main hatch can't be opened from inside. Remembering the intruder, Theo goes out through the kitchen vent and is shocked to find a dark and dusty barren land. As Bug comes out they notice it's too cold, so they suit up to take a sample of the dust before opening the hatch to return. When they share their findings with the others, Cole theorizes that Mission Control moved the bunker into a giant dome to make it look like an alien planet. Soon Bug has the results of his testing and explains the dust has armalkalite, which is only found on the moon. The crew finally decides to suit up and go outside to investigate further. As they walk around, Bug freaks out over the disappearance of trees, but Cole is sure the experiment is still ongoing. He thinks that the shots they received were psychotropic substances that open their minds to suggestion and paranoia, but Bug can't help wondering if they're actually dead. Eventually they come across a swing set and Bug is startled when he hears laughter, but nobody else can hear it. Sometime later, the crew finds an empty house and goes inside, finding the rooms in a poor state. Theo discovers a picture of the intruder and his family while Emily finds a map with all the cities crossed out except for a town called Tranquility. Meanwhile Cole starts breaking things, thinking he could find microphones and hidden cameras. Next, the crew follows the map until they finally find Tranquility. There's breathable air here, so they take off their helmets before looking around. All buildings look dark inside and nobody answers their cries for help, Cole even throws a rock through a window and nothing happens. Eventually they find light at a diner and the owner Zell comes out to sweep. He's startled to see the astronauts and refuses to answer their questions, instead he invites them to have a meal while more people appear on the street. The crew goes inside and Cole swears that the other customers look like the reporters from the press conference, he even sees a woman who looks exactly like the model from his magazine. After Zell's wife brings them some food, Zell asks them if they encountered other survivors and it takes him a moment to realize the astronauts know nothing. Zell explains that nobody knows exactly what happened, one day a black object in the sky simply sent a cloud of dust down to Earth. After testing the food, Cole points out he can't remember Zell from the press conference and wonders if Zell's hearing aid is actually an earpiece through which he received instructions from Walter. As Zell starts to get nervous, Theo asks how the town survived, but Zell says they just got lucky and invites them to stay the night as long as they promise to leave in the morning. After Zell leaves, Cole says he doesn't believe him and still thinks they're in the simulation, so he announces he'll go to the bar for a drink. The crew comes along and after they share a few drinks, Cole flirts with a girl and they end up leaving together. The group waits for Cole to come back, but eventually the bar has to close, so they accept Cole isn't returning and the trio goes back to the diner. While Theo and Emily sleep, Bug goes to the bathroom, only to suddenly find himself in a hospital. Sam is in bed with the bear and when Bug asks about the boy's condition, he's devastated to learn that Sam is dead. A crying Bug reappears in the bathroom and finds a menu on the floor with a picture of the owners, who are not Zell and his wife. Bug wants to warn the others but when he leaves the bathroom, he finds Sam in the hallway. The boy suddenly runs away and Bug tries to follow him, but he gets caught in a loop of the same corridor until he bumps into Zell. The next morning marks the start of day 399. When Emily and Theo wake up, they ask Zell if he's seen Cole and Bug, but Zell claims they came alone to the diner and thinks oxygen deprivation makes them see things. A frustrated Theo begins moving things to look for microphones, so Zell tells them to go back to the ship. Theo gets even more suspicious because Zell shouldn't know that they were on a ship, so Zell threatens them with a knife. The duo decides to leave and finds a dust storm outside. They try to find shelter as the lights on the street start to go out, and the darkness causes them to split. Theo enters a building and ends up in the diner's kitchen, where there's blood on every surface and bugs bear resting on a shelf. The fridge has been chained up but before Theo can open it, he hears two cooks moving nearby. He hides until they leave and then enters another room, where he's disturbed to find a man in a cage. Theo immediately releases him and the man thanks him before running away. Then Theo tries to leave the kitchen, but he bumps into a cook with a knife and accidentally gets stabbed in the stomach. As he coughs, he rushes outside and reunites with Emily, who is being followed by the creepy-looking locals. 
The duo goes back to the bar to hide and Emily starts tending Theo's wound, although he finds it weird that she has a first aid kit because the ship wasn't supposed to have one. At that moment the bartender comes back and the duo tries to hide, but the bartender still sees their feet and runs to alert the others. Theo and Emily immediately leave the building and run out of town, hiding in the house they saw earlier. Before they fall asleep, Theo asks what Walter said to her before they enter the bunker, and Emily confesses that Walter made her end things with Theo because he wanted to test if they could fulfill their duties despite their breakup. If Emily hadn't done it, she would have been kicked out of the mission. An angry Theo points out they could have faked it, but Emily says Walter would have known because he's always watching them. Theo is still hurt that she didn't tell him and goes to sleep furious. A few hours later, they wake up and start making their way back to the ship, but Cole and Bug still haven't shown up. When Theo closes the hatch, he sees three men approaching so he rushes to warn Emily, pointing out the locals probably let them escape so they could follow them. Determined to fight, Theo takes a fire extinguisher and goes outside at the same time that Zell and a cook enter the ship to look for them. Outside, Theo uses the fire extinguisher on the bartender, who tries to fight back. A short confrontation ensues and Theo manages to knock the guy out by hitting him with the extinguisher. Afterward Theo goes back into the bunker and comes across the cook, hitting him with the extinguisher too before strangling him to death and taking his knife. Meanwhile Zell finds a hiding Emily, but before he can attack, Theo grabs him from behind. Zell immediately breaks free and claims that Cole and Bug are still in town, then he puts down his knife and asks Theo to go back to town together. Theo pretends to put the knife down too only to suddenly push the table against Zell before punching him a few times. Zell quickly starts fighting back and after a few kicks, he tries to stab Theo, however Emily stabs him first and kills him. At that moment, the computer countdown reaches zero and the lights get bright as a recording plays a crowd clapping. Walter appears on the screen to congratulate them for completing the simulation and invites them to come out. Theo and Emily are still confused, but they hold hands and get ready to leave as the hatch opens.